if you want to if you want to live in your passion whatever your passion is you have to be willing to not make money at it yeah. you want to do what you love you got to do you have to you people you have a choice you can yeah. choose money or you can choose what you love My parents, and I'm sure like most people's parents, say, get a good job, try to make some money, make a good living. Yep. And because they, they think that's secure if you make go and make money. But if you do a job and you make money, you lose that job. Yep. Then you lose the money and you have nothing. If you choose your passion, it actually doesn't matter whether you make money or you lose money because you're always going to have your passion be happy. So it doesn't actually matter. And that's your safety net. Right. And, and, but the challenge of that is that it might be eight years or four years before you're actually making a living at it yep. versus, versus something else. And really, when I wrote it, I thought nobody would read it. I thought nobody would read it, but I thought, this story's so crazy, I just have to tell this story. These things that seem you can spend all your time trying to engineer the perfect thing, and the truth is, we have no control. We just don't know what's going to work or what's not going to work. We're here because we're admitting we're a little bit broken. If something we need to learn, we haven't. So as you do it, you want to take in all the criticism that comes in and work on what you need to work on. So, so don't take it personally. You have to have this filter inside that takes in all criticism, not personally and not judgmentally. You take in the criticism, you think, is that true? And you take a hard look at yourself. And if it's true, you work to solve it and change it. If it's not true, you just throw it out and move out. Enjoy the journey, not the destination. A lot of us delay our happiness. When I get to this level, when I get my degree, when I get the kids, when I get married, I'm going to be happy. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the whole step, the whole process. Every day that you get up to strive for whatever it is you're after. You know I'm a goal-oriented guy. Yeah. So you don't celebrate when you get to the finish line. Celebrate all along the way. Celebrate yeah. all along the way. Yeah, man. How do I stay driven? Because I couldn't even comprehend the alternative. The biggest poison in us is regret. You won the ultimate, ultimate lottery, and we're not driven, and we're not fired up, and we're not going for it, and we're willing to sit like a lump and just wait till you die? Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. If you're going to have an extraordinary life, one of the master skills for actually creating that life is mastering this. Mastering the ability to take what you envision and make it real. It's always worth it to do your best. to believe in something and to work towards the attainment of the goal and if it is that you have to expand your vision then you climb higher and you do that and you don't be afraid to I'm sitting between intellect and instinct mm -hmm. intellect can describe it but only instinct can find it From the premise of that ideology, I begin to go back through all of my life and begin to see, not only me, but others, how if they position themselves between intellect and instinct and know when to yield to which one, that next big thing, whether it's an elephant, uh, an entrepreneurial pursuit, or raising a family, it is simply over there if you follow the instincts. I put in it what it takes to withstand the pressure. Slap your neighbor and say, you don't know what you got. You don't know what you've got until all hell breaks loose. You don't know what you can take until the pressure is applied to your life. You don't know what you can endure until people, until people stab you in the back and walk away from you. You don't know how much courage you have until you've been under fire and under struggle and under tribulation. You can't learn what's in you sitting back in a lazy boy chair hitting the remote control 
watching HBO and Cinemax, but when all hell breaks through. That's when you get to see what you got. Hope and creativity are two of the most important things in the world. To any creative person who's had a door slammed in their face, or actors who have had their auditions cut off or have waited for a callback that didn't come, or anybody, anywhere, really, that feels like giving up sometimes. But finds it in themselves to get up. And keep moving forward. I share this with you. Because the truth is, if you want to be an anomaly, you've got to act like one. I love the climb. To be the setback is exciting. I love when something goes wrong. It's where I shine the most. This is hard. Every day is hard. And if you don't have the stomach to weather the storm, you will not be successful. What you got? Touch your neighbor's sound made or something. We're really strong. We're just doing so that we're not. Because there's a lot of money. A lot of money in telling us that we're not pretty enough, thin enough, smart enough. Good enough. That I want to tell you the best. So be sure. I want to change and I'm really stuck. I know nothing. I'm letting go of everything and I'm sort of going to relearn as like a, with a childlike mind. Sort of being in touch with you and going where you want to go and not being afraid to leave people behind is what's going to actually make you a leader. Just choose one thing to move toward and then the path, and then just go with the path and you'll end up somewhere. If you still stand here trying to decide what to do, you'll still be here in a year, two years, three years, four years. Just choose something you kind of like and don't hate and then start moving toward it and you'll find that the course and path of life will bring you exactly where you're supposed to be. And you can make money doing anything and the thing you make the most money on is the thing you like the most. Don't take it personally. Not just for pickup, but for life in general. Everyone's a jerk to you someday, and you, you, and when someone's an asshole on the street and bumps into you and says, F off, it's not about you, it's, you know, he's a jerk. If uh, you have a day and you lose your job and your girlfriend breaks up with you and uh, you crash your car, the world doesn't hate you, you just had a bad day. physically make a decision how we're going to live, then we'll show up like everybody else because the human mind is not going to make you happy. This brain of yours won't do it. You have to direct it. And there's no worse fate than to achieve everything and not be fulfilled.